Well, good evening all. It is uh, November 5th. Two days after the election, the circus is still going on. And out here in Communist California, you got the old redneck here. So let's see what we can talk about today. I think it's kind of, election's kind of strange, just like I thought it would be. Um, naturally, no results. Probably won't be any till this weekend. And then even then it won't be over with, because then you're going to have all the legal fights, no matter who wins it. But it's kind of funny. Election's technically not over with yet, because there hasn't been an announced winner, but we still have protests and looting and all that shit going on, at least out here in California. What I can't understand, and I never will, if you've got a man who has blatantly said that he's going to shut down the oil industry, he's going to shut down just about everybody's business, He's going to go with the total lockdown as far as COVID-19 goes. All that kind of crap. All that kind of horse shit. And all these little snowflakes. And these wannabe liberals and whatever you want to call them. Personally, I call them dickweeds. But uh, they all couldn't wait to jump on the bandwagon. Oh, we're, we're for Biden. Yes, Biden. Yes, yeah, yeah. He's going to save the world. But, you know, what the funny thing is, these people may have been against Trump, but they sure didn't mind making money when he was in office. Their businesses, their paychecks all went good. Yet you got a man, you're trying to elect a man that's already said he's going to undo all the tax cuts and put money in your pocket. You're going to put more hardship on every American out here. And y'all just had to jump on that Kool-Aid wagon. Now, I expected this state to go the way it did. Total Democrat, it always does. It's dyed the wool blue, will probably die blue. Can't happen any too soon. Maybe one day it'll fall into the ocean blue. You know? You got our governor nonsense out there thinking he's a little emperor. With his aunt, Miss Pelosi. His other aunt, Waters. Doing everything they can to destroy the state. And now you people want to do that through the whole country. Everybody just lost their common sense. Y'all just don't care about where your money comes from. You think you're just going to sit at home and big government's just going to give you the money and let you do what you want to do, where you can take your vacations and you can drive your big cars and have your big screen TVs. Oh, wait a minute. You didn't pay for that big screen TV. You got it during the peaceful protest when you robbed a Walmart or a Big Five or something like that. You got so many people thinking they're entitled to something for nothing. You get something for nothing, it's worth exactly that, nothing. A lesson I learned growing up by both my parents and all my relatives, you wanted something, you had to work for it. People my age, you wanted an allowance, you either had to go out and do chores for it, or you had to go out and do, mow lawns, shovel snow, deliver newspapers, something, you wanted money in your pocket. Nowadays, you got kids out there that seem to think they're they're entitled to anything they want. 
Oh, my friend has an iPhone 12. I need to have one of those. If you love me, you're going to get me an iPhone 12. That's all there is to it. Otherwise, oh my God, I can't live with myself. Now everybody says you don't need to worry about socialism and all that. That's never going to happen. Well, it's happening. It's really funny. If you're in the Biden camp, you're allowed to say anything you want to say. Nobody says a thing against you. If you're in a Trump camp, you talk about some of the shady shit going on. And all of a sudden, you get... You know, you get uh, banned by Twitter, you get banned by Facebook, you get censored by this, censored by that. Who made Lord God, Google, and all these other tech companies our saviors, our bosses? What gives them the right to censor our free speech? Part of these platforms is so that we can speak our opinion and get people's feedback on it. This country is based on the fact that you have the right to free speech. But what the hell am I talking about? Even nowadays going down the street, you speak your mind to somebody and you're called a racist, a Nazi. You don't think their way. The Biden people can say anything they want, but you start throwing facts at them, you're called a racist, a Nazi, or anything else. If you don't agree with the liberal opinion, you are immediately shunned, shamed, everything else that they can think of doing. You know? It's like this idiotic notion of them defunding police departments. Let's take away the cops' tools to defend, you know, the cities then wonder why the crime rate goes up. You know, it's okay for the politician to talk this shit. They can afford their own private security. You know, they walk around with armed guards. Do you see Pelosi going around without her bodyguards? How about Newsom? No, wait, his are supplied by the state. That's right. He doesn't have to worry about it. You know, and let's see. Newsom's kids are going to a private school, so they're allowed to go to school. Most of us, our kids, if we have any that are in school age, are going through Zoom classes. Okay. What is the difference? What makes his kids better than ours? They can still go to school, but ours can't. Is it the unions? Or is it the fact of fear of COVID? And if the COVID fear is so widespread and it's so real, why are the private schools open? Oh, wait a minute. Most people can't afford private school now because their businesses have been closed down due to COVID. Because Governor Nonsense doesn't seem to think it's time to open anything. I have been wearing no mask at work since this whole thing started. I deal with people from all over the country driving in to get their tanks cleaned. 90% of them aren't wearing any masks. Do I ask them if they've been exposed to COVID? Do I do a temperature check on them? No, not a damn bit. I do the job and let them go. Have I been sick a bit from this? No. I'm not saying there isn't a disease out there. But I'm saying get your head out of your ass, people. Let's grow up. We've never shut down the country for anything. Why are we shutting it down for this? Oh, wait a minute. Let's go back to some words Pelosi said. We knew about COVID, but we were more worried about impeaching Donald Trump than the COVID. Hmm. 
Seems to me there's some shenanigans there. That it could just be me thinking that way. I don't know. I mean, the election is, not, as far as I'm concerned, it's not over till all the votes are counted. Mr. Trump could probably pull, can still pull this off. And I can just imagine a look on Biden's face if he does. Everybody's crying how Trump's, you know, calling in lawyers already and starting these lawsuits. If it was the other way around, it'd be Biden doing the same thing. Kind of like the Al Gore election, you know? There's always a winner and a loser. But I guarantee you this, people. If Biden wins, <laughs> God help us all. And I hope to hell the rumors I hear that if, if Trump loses, he'll run next time. He'll get my vote. I don't care if that makes me a bad California, bad American. I don't really give a rat's ass. The man was good for this country, still is. That's my opinion. If people don't like it, they can kiss my white ass. If YouTube don't like it, they can do what they have to do. I don't care. They shut me down, I can always find another platform to talk on. It don't matter to me. You know, the big problem with high tech, you got the Googles, you got the Facebook, you got the Twitter accounts. There's always other people going to come up with another platform. You can't shut everybody down. Unless you pull the plug and that'll devastate the world. So let's see how brave they want to be. If you got an opinion, let's all voice it. You know? I read, I heard a YouTube video from Candace Owens where she's suing the fact so-called fact-checkers. I kind of agree with it. What gives them the right to be a supreme judge over what people can say? This country was based on free speech, the rights to free speech. It's even written into our Bill of Rights. So what right does a company have to say you can't say these things? What right do they have to censor our president when he wants to speak? Say what you want about Mr. Trump. With his Twitter account, you knew exactly where he was coming from on anything. Granted, there's a lot of times I wish somebody would shut his ass down once in a while. I didn't agree with everything the man has said. But the man is the first president I have ever seen in my 65 years that actually tried to keep his promises when he's fighting both a Congress and a Senate all the way down the line. Think about that, people. This country needs a fighter, and that man's a fighter all the way down the line. He's a bare knuckles, get in your face, I'm going to stomp your dick in the dirt type fighter. He ain't one of these pretty boys. Oh, well, you can't say that in public. Let's go in the back and we'll talk about it. No, he's not that. He'll get in your face and that's all there is. That's all he knows. Like him or not, you knew where he was coming from. And I respect that. You can't get much more American and real than that. So I hope this country decides to make America great again and re-elect the man. Let him finish his, his two terms out. See what else, you know, he did mirac miracles the first term. Lowest unemployment rate, highest economy rate, jobs going balls to the wall coming back to this country getting thing, getting this country back on its own and now we're going backwards again Biden's nothing but a cow you know a cowlick puller oh you want me to do that okay I'll do that if he stays coherent enough to do it I think the Democrats plan is for him to be in office for maybe six months 
then all of a sudden be declared unfit for office and have Camille Harris take over. God help us all if that happens. But again, that's my opinion. Got a comment? Leave it below. If you want to send me an email? Send it to redneckrebel1956 at gmail.com. I'll answer it. You like this video? Pass it on. I don't care. If you do, more people will probably hear the truth. It's the old redneck. Remember all our military served overseas? Remember the ones coming back? Remember the vets standing here at home? Give them a hand up, not a hand out. This country don't need any more handouts. That created a welfare state. We don't need that anymore. Let's get America back working again. Good night all. Redneck out.